Hello, and welcome to part one of the tutorial of making skins for Assetto Corsa. And uh, here's a few things we're going over. UV mapping and AO mapping, why it's important, why you need it. And uh, basic Photoshop tools and uh, layers. And the different layer, layer help things. So, let's get started. What you're gonna want to skin as the first thing is uh, Doris Celadi because it has uh, proper AO mapping and UV mapping av available. Um, and uh, you can download it here. And I'm gonna leave the links in the description. And you can always uh, you can also download the uh, uh, template here. And uh, I have already done that, and uh, they are here. Um, here's the AO map and the wireframe. Um, I have already, if you downloaded the uh, um, the template here, I have already included the PSD with the AO map and wireframe in it. So just open this. Now, if Photoshop asks you, um, don't color change. It's gonna m mess up your colors. Just open it now. Here's the basic skin. We're gonna turn off color. We're gonna turn off this and just have the wireframe. All these wires are uh, what we're gonna paint them. Everything you place within these borders are going to show up on the car in Assetto Corsa when we built the DDS files. Um, the mask or the AOM layer um, is shadows. So you're going to want those two. Set the blending options by clicking clicking here and selecting multiply um, and just then you can paint any color under that you want and it will put down the shadows um, default um, that's pretty much it for UV, UV and AO mapping now tools um, this tool let you move around stuff and if you want to move around the screen you can use this tool or if you want to quick select it um, while you're in other tools press down space and it will work automatically um, select let you select um, lasso lets you make a lasso selection we're not going to use this and the magic wand the magic wand is pretty nifty um, these eyes by the way makes the layers visible and invisible um, tolerance is how much the magic wand is going to select if you put on contiguous um, then it's gonna, if you take it off, then it's gonna select as much as the tolerance is set to of the same color on the layer you're selecting here. So we're gonna leave that on. Anti-alias is, uh, well, it smoothens edges. And tolerance. If we put this to 100 or 200, we're just going to put in 100. It will select a lot more than the standard 32. See the difference from before and then? So that's some settings you can mess around with to get the... Uh, when using the tools to get the result that you want. Um, crop 
uh, crops the canvas. Eye crop lets you select colors. Um, heel brush, we're not going to use this one. Brush lets you paint on shit. To go back, control C or use the history. Um, eraser erases stuff. Um, fill will basically fill anything. Since this layer has one color all over it, this will um, paint on the whole layer. If I do this. Next time I fill, use the paint bucket to fill a layer. It doesn't paint this area. So that's how that works. If you wanna clear this area or make it a different color, press Control A and right click and fill for put in use foreground color and it will use the color you selected like this and this hurt, hurts my eyes so that's better um, we're not going to use these tools pencil we're going to play with this later so I'm not going to go into detail that but you can use it to select stuff and basically to paint stuff freehand so I'm going to show you that later but this here is uh, the type tool and this is uh, lets you type in stuff now we're gonna s leave this here for a bit because I'm gonna explain another tool later I'm not going to use this. Um, move, I've already been over. And zoom and hold down Alt to go to zoom out. Or you can hold down the button and simply drag. Oh. Um, that's zoom. And down here you can see how much you're zoomed in. You can also insert a value here. 500 will go to 500 soon. Yeah. That was about. No, wait. We still have the free transform tool. You can press Ctrl and T to enter that. Now, this tool allows you to upscale stuff or downscale stuff or backwards stuff or rotate stuff. I highly suggest you hold down shift while doing this because this will snap to 15 degrees rotates and it will also keep the um, um, keep the size of the thing you've transformed. So hold down shift when you use this at all times. If you're resizing an image um, and not a l uh, um, layer style that I found this, or that a text Photoshop based text is produced as vectors, so you can you can basically mash them any kind of way you want, and they will never lose quality, but a photo will. So if I enlarge this. And I make it white. Hmm, can't do that right now. Uh, I rasterize type. Now it's an image. If I make it bigger, wait. If I zoom in now, you can see that the lines all crisp and nice, like I want them, like you want them. And if you enlarge this. 
enough. The edges will pixelate and Photoshop will by some some way try to compensate for that and it will ruin the cut of the decals. So that's why you never upscale images, only downscale them. So basically what skinning is about is getting as big resources as you can to get the most quality. Sometimes you gotta use pencil to achieve this, but um, we're not gonna go into that in this episode. Um, let's see, layers. Over here. If I press this button, a new layer appears. If I press down Control Shift and N, a new layer will appear also if I press this button. I can also name the layer before I apply it. I can also double press layer 2 and write a new name. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to delete these two. Duplicating layer gives you another layer with color in this instance or you can flatten image will take all the layers and make them into one or merge layers if I did this these two layers would merge into one like this um, if I make a new layer here and I paint something here and here and here and I move this below the AO mapping you can see that what I just painted goes behind that and that's why we arrange our layers basically you want the mask above the color and decals because that will mm, make them more shadowy that's what I do but do your own stuff um, that's pretty much it for no wait this deletes a layer or you can right click delete you can also set up groups this is useful for managing your skin here we could have this uh, color and then this would be for colors GFX for graphics for the car like dragons and flames and shit and you can have this for stickers and just place in layers here and they will show up in these groups you can do this to collapse the group and that's really helpful when you have skins with 300 layers it's gonna get fun but mm, not gonna use these yet so that's that's it for now let's save this and uh, I'm gonna make the next episode right after this I think so Hang tight.